So this is Titanfall. Uh, obviously it's been quite a big game of the year. Um, it came out earlier in the year for Xbox One and PC, and then came out a few months later in April for Xbox 360, and this is indeed the 360 version. Um, what we're uh, looking at here is basically how it plays. Is it really worth going to the length of getting an Xbox One or even buying the PC version if the 360 version runs well enough? So, the first thing I want to address is just off the bat because I know this is going to be used against me. I'm not normally a fan of these kinds of games. Uh, if anyone's seen the Warface video I did earlier, I openly admit that I actively tend to actually dislike these. That said, I did have a lot of fun with Titanfall. The concept alone, just giant mechs and guns, I know it's been done before in games like Lost Planet, but I enjoyed it for what it was, at least as a concept. Uh, the game itself runs actually very nicely on the current gen. It runs, for the most part, at around 60 frames per second. Uh, sadly, the video you're watching now will not show this. This was recorded at 30 frames. Uh, I had to do this for a couple of good reasons. One, if I want to record at 1080p content um, through my capture card, I have these 30 frames per second. And secondly, I can record at 60 on 720p, but I couldn't work out how to. Um, yeah, I, I, I will promise I will look that up in the future. For today, though, this is 30. Yeah, as I was saying, the game runs quite nicely. Uh, it also runs very smoothly in terms of netcode. Uh, the online matchmaking is based mainly in cloud servers. Obviously, cloud servers had a bit of a bad rap uh, in the past year or so, particularly when GTA Online, GTA Online launched about a year ago. And if anyone remembers, the first few months of that, that game was completely and utterly unplayable. With all that in mind though, this game operates on them and actually runs quite well. If anyone remembers uh, Microsoft's 2013 E3 conference, which was hilariously uh, bad, I don't know, I just wanted to write that from memory, uh, they spoke about the power of the cloud. What the fuck did they mean? Well, they actually meant cloud-based service for games, and they meant actually putting active money and research into them and making sure they were shit. And, Titan was a part of that, and it actually works really well. Now, let's talk about the actual gameplay as itself. Um, so, someone saying Call of Duty with Max is not too far from the actual truth. The gameplay is based mainly in obviously teams of t uh, two teams of up to eight people, so it's 16 match, 16 man matches going each at each other on a small map. Uh, I've fallen in love with the attrition mode, which is effectively a team deathmatch style thing. Uh, you, the idea is, is that each kill is worth an X amount of attrition points. Uh, you have to basically fill up your, your team's attrition bar and then proceed to destroy them as they try to escape, because that's what good, fun, militaristic faction is all about. Uh, the bar goes up to 300, and well, each point is worth a different amount depending on what you kill. Now, this actually ties into something else about Titanfall. So it's not just humans on the map, uh, as you probably all well know by now, there's also AI uh, partners on the map. These are referred to as grunts or spectres, depending on their class. These guys are mostly fucking useless. Uh, I said these, they will just kneel down and let you shoot them in the face. I've even walked up to them before and shot them in the back of the head. They are fucking useless. That said, they're only worth one attrition point. Pilots are worth four and Titans, the mechs, are worth five. Now, obviously the multiplayer isn't everything, and story is a huge thing for this kind of game, right? Right? Because, you know, like AAA games and stories tend to be a thing they... Well, uh, sadly not here. Uh, I There are campaign modes available. Annoyingly though, this game proudly touts being online only. Uh, which means you have to do other people, and the issue is that you can't just start a, like a chapter up and go on from there. No, no, every every campaign uh, plays through both campaigns, the IMC and the Militia campaign, on a constant loop. So you can't just pick up where you left off and hop in, which actually bugs the absolute shit out of me. Why they couldn't just have like, a single player option, I do not know. Uh, I, I'm looking into it uh, as far as other ways of doing it, but apparently you can run it through private matches, which is great, but I don't actually have anyone else on my friends list or no one else who has this game on this platform. The other people I know who own it have it on Xbox One and PC. So, 
that brings me obviously to the final point. Is it worth getting this game for the current generation of consoles when it's available for PC and Xbox One? Well, I can give you a long answer. Sorry. Uh, I have not played the game on PC, so I cannot talk for that version. I have, however, played it on Xbox One for all of that half an hour. As far as comparisons between running, so the big thing the Xbox One version has going for it is that it runs at a constant, smooth 60 frames. The Xbox 360 version, as I mentioned, dips a lot. It, get, it holds around 60 for most of the time, but it'll dip to about 40 here when stuff starts getting insane. This sadly includes if there's a Titan match with like four or five Titans going at it. On, yeah, completely outside the map for you. Your frames will also drop because it's a universal frame drop for everybody. With that in mind though, uh, it does run incredibly well. It's incredibly pretty and for a game with the, this late into this console's lifespan, it's definitely worth a look at if you don't own an Xbox One or if you don't own a PC that's capable of running it at a decent frame rate or with decent settings. What price should you pick it up for? £20 and under, I'd say. I picked mine up for £18. It's 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 fun, it's worth your time, it's a distraction, it's something that I'm I'm glad I've played it, but at the same time it's very hard to recommend to a lot of people, uh, particularly if they own a PC or if they own a, a or an Xbox One. And you know, it's 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 decent. Just just if you have other options to go for them. If not, pick it up at 360. You won't be disappointed.